explosion in central London. Can we find the Home Secretary? I'd like to be able to tell the Ambassador whether her husband is... Season 2 delves deeper into the personal lives of your characters and all of the characters really, but particularly in the aftermath of the explosion. How did you approach portraying the emotional impact of these events on your characters and what challenges did you face doing so? No, I, I never know how to <laughs> know. describe how I approach something. I know. Um, I'm not sure I know how I approach something. I know. Uh, I, I learned the lines. Yeah. Most of it was in that. <laughs> I think we have this incredible luxury on this job. Um, in Deborah Khan, who writes our show, the writing is so good and so fun and smart, and the writing does a lot of the work. It really does. Um, so we kind of get to show up and, and say the words, but... Um, and what you know, that means is, it's like, it makes such sense. Yeah. When you read it, it's not that we're just parroting the line, the, you know, no. but, but it makes such that you just intrinsically understand where it's yeah. coming from. It makes sense to us in terms of the character. And what we really need to do, it's, and it's the way we are together. We, yeah. you know, a lot of it is instinctual, but based on great writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the show tackles serious political themes while maintaining also a little bit of sense of humor and wit and, you know, balancing that dramatic and comedic element of the stories, you know, is it something that you two discussed before or how does this contribute, do you think, to the show's overall tone while also paying attention to these important themes? Well, I think that's the fun and that's where this show really crackles and is great is that we're, t we're tackling these very serious worlds and, uh, and, and kind of explaining the world of diplomacy to people who may not know much about it. But it's also about people and the people who live regular lives and have regular embarrassing, sad, ridiculous feelings within those days of huge jobs. So um, I think that's that, cross-section of those two things you just talked about is what's so fun about the show and that's when it really works. Yeah and I feel that you know what you're talking about you're talking about a, a, a style of writing or a style of show but I prefer to think of it as a, just a, a type of person or, or not even a type of person it's actually people in general yes. aside from the uniform and the job bring humor to their worlds and to their life. Um, and often that's left out of drama. People are just like, you know, they, they they talk business and cops are super serious, et cetera, et cetera. In reality, people make stupid jokes all the time. And particularly in my experience, the people in this area of life, people who are involved in the world of politics and speech writing, mm -hmm. they're really quick. They're really funny. And their jokes are not as, not as, a style it's a way of thinking it's a way of leaping from one thought is to They're see the gap yeah. to see the joke to see the insult yeah. to be able to see a thousand things like terminator terminator yes, at a moment at one time and pick the right course through mm -hmm. which is kind of charismatic political thinking yeah. is to be able to see all the possibilities and go through that these are bright funny quick people mm -hmm. and it's how they think so it's not just a kind of flavor that's pasted over as a kind of writing style. It's actually the kind of people we're playing. Mm -hmm. And you can see it when we go to these places, we meet these people, oh. or you listen to political podcasts, the ones I listen to, yeah. they're really funny because these people are smart yeah. in that way.